So I have been slowly sorting out the mess in the house though. Um, it's taking some time. So here we go, life stuff. Okay, so I've just taken the handles off and um, I'm going to chuck all the handles into an uh, ultrasonic bath. They're looking they're quite full of paint and stuff. So we'll see if we can get that off in an ultrasonic bath. So interesting story, I found this on the floor at one of the thrifty type shops. And it was like outside in the rain. Um, I was like, oh, if that works, that's amazing. I bought it home, Julian had a look at it. It was quite gross, but it works. And it works amazingly. I'm quite, quite happy and quite, very lucky that that works. another mirror for another upcycle. This stuff is hectic so be very careful with it. <clears throat> okay then I'm just gonna boil some water. Don't judge my kettle, I need a new one. That is love. Hot water will help and whatever's on top of there. So we're gonna wait for that to boil. So these are the handles. Oh I like it's so easy to take a handle off. Why don't you take take them off before you paint, you know? Also on a side note, these are spring onions that are cut. Um so I cut them about there and then use the tops. I used the tops in dinner the other day. And then just put the base, the bottoms in water. And you need to change this water out every couple of days. This water actually ends up being high in nitrogen. So if you want to um, feed it to another plant, you can. Give it to my ponytail. Just put some fresh water in there. Put those back in. And they literally just sit on my counter and grow so I can use them again another day. So this is another three or four days later and look how much they've grown. So you can literally have a sustainable lot of spring onions on your counter in your kitchen for like ever. Such a mess. No more mess please. <laughs> okay so the water is boiling and go and go and go and go and go. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try. Okay, so there we go, we got a mixture. So this does like 10 minute sessions. So it'll just vibrate them. And hopefully the paint will come off, so we'll leave that for now. I really like these handles. I'm going to do that one more time because some of them still have quite a bit of paint on them. Now we can put up my recycling. <sighs> I'm not proud of, but oh, okay there's paper recycling um, and plastic recycling. So uh, absolutely not proud of this but it is better than not recycling. So this is a month of plastic. I mean it's like a coffee bag. Um, your meat packages, oh, that was peaches, 
Like everything comes with plastic these days. So reducing plastic is a tough task. Everyone knows this. So we're going to take this to pick and pay to go and put it in their plastic recycling. So here it is almost done, I just need to seal it and put the handles on. So we've got these gorgeous, I don't actually know what they are, jeez, I should know, trees outside. Um, and they've got these pretty seaweed looking leaves and they drop bits and pieces every now and then. So, I might just have to slice a piece off that's screwing out the bottom section here. And then we can use that on our Christmas presents to make pretty. And um, the reason I'm pulling this off the tree is because these bottom pieces are supposed to be pruned anyway. What I wanted to do is I'm just going to do a mock wrap because... I don't have anything to wrap. That's how sad my life is. So I got these materials to wrap presents in. Under 30 Rand. So we're gonna have some awesome looking presents. So now what you can do is slide one of these in here. I think that looks really cool. So another idea is these reusable bags. Which is really simple to make. Just got these little bells. It's really cute. So that you can put a gift in there. So this is another option. You can do brown paper with um, some sort of stamp. Um, I saw on the Sorry Girls they did a potato stamp. I just had this star lying around. So I just did stars with watercolor paint. And those came out really nicely as well, I think. And then I added a little bit of the cypress tree again. And, um, and then I used masking tape. And I just painted it with the watercolor as well. So that's biodegradable, not harmful to the environment. And then reusable boxes. So that was a box for an, an appliance of some kind. Hope you guys enjoyed this random bunch of videos.